Still kind of early morning here. We're down in Townsend, Georgia. We've got the uh, Georgia DOT, a coaches class this week. And going through, got about 11 folks going through some things on felling, creating some storm situations, and more or less, uh, they're gonna be bucking things up and, and trying to remove them as they would from a road. These folks are supervisors that are responsible to pass along safe and productive techniques with chainsaw operation for those that are under them that may have to pick up a chainsaw and use it after a storm or uh, a tree is uh, blown across a road, whatever. And so we're, uh, we're looking forward to be able to work with them this week. We had a, a good classroom session yesterday and then we came out and we, uh, we felled a one pine tree kind of looking at how things work. And then they're going to be uh, taking and, and uh, practicing and and setting up some different situations. So. We have a great cutting site. This is where we were last time down here. And it's along the side of a, a little lagoon. We've got some pine trees and a few softer hardwoods to take out here and kind of thin this out a little bit. Real wet area, but uh, ought to work good for the training. We had a tough time today making some storm situations because we trying to slide it over and make some pretty decent spring poles and things but all these trees they they were a little bit bushy trying to go into them we ended up with a lot of tangled tops a lot of hang-ups but anyhow we got some things down for tomorrow for the for the storm cleanup it's uh, pretty interesting i think we've got four piles set up here and you can see a some of it's just pretty simple cuts, but then some of it has got some some different springs and things available. And then they're going to be uh, taking and and uh, practicing and and setting up some different situations. We've got these piles set up for them to cut on the dots. And you know, every one of these classes is different because every situation is different. A loaded spring pole sideways. We don't cut the pressure off of the tree first. That one's coming in my direction here very quickly. Got to get the overhead hazard down first before we work on the lower ones this is my demo tree for the morning take a look at some different pressures and binds and different cuts to be able to make planning process to look at overhead hazards ground hazards take a look side to side potential up and down and back and forward then pick out a technique or a cut that will help to control that movement. Thank you. 
Mm-hmm.